Hello, in this video, we're gonna look at how the player fees section of the Flip Gift Budget app works. So to navigate there, you can get there from within the income page or simply go to the dedicated tab straight away. And you'll see here your roster along the left-hand side and this option here to add a date to schedule your first fee payment. Now, what you're gonna do is enter the total that you need to collect. So let's say from the whole team on this fee payment, we're collecting $10,000 and that comes in for September 1st. So we add that team fee and it automatically divides that value up across all the players on the team. Uh, you can, of course, go in here and change this if you want to. Save that there, and you'll see that value has been added up here. The difference has been added onto the total being collected, and that's been reflected in a lamb's uh, amount owing total. We add another date. Let's say we're doing another 10,000 from the team, and we're gonna do that one on November 1st. We add that team feed. Again, you see the money's been split and I have the option to add another. Our total is tallied here. And if we go to our income page, we'll see our total for player fees matches. So we can click this link to jump back into the player fees. Now, once you've scheduled your fees, one of the ways FlipGive is gonna help take the hassle out of managing and collecting fees is automated emails are gonna be sent to your team uh, before on and after each of these dates if they haven't paid yet. You will also, as an administrator, receive an email when your team does, uh, just so that you know when we're reaching out to the team and reminding them to make payments. Now, let's say we wanna record a payment. Now, I could link my bank account and there's a dedicated account linking video that you can go watch to learn more about how that works. But when I do that, all of my transactions get pulled down here. So as soon as someone transfers me money or a fee payment hits my bank account, it will show up here and I simply just file it under player fees and I click and choose the player that it belongs to. Now, let's say someone handed you some cash for their payment. You've got income, you want it to be recorded as a player fee and let's say it was a lamb that made this payment and it was a thousand dollars to cover her first payment. You can leave yourself a note that says, gave me cash at the game. And you can say that they did that on August 19th. Now we add that to our list of activity, player fees paid by a lamb. And we go back to our fee page, we see that that checks out. This value has been taken off of what a lamb owes, and there's this little indicator to help you remember when you're looking at this, who's paid and who is not. And we see here, a lamb's total owing is the sum of these numbers, and the amount that she's actually paid is reflected here. And that's how player fees work on Flip Your Budget.